This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance provides high quality instructor led training videos for desktop, IT, and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. In this demo now, I want to talk a little bit about service principle names and how when you're configuring authentication in Kerberos, how you can get the delegated administration set up or the delegated authentication, I should say. So let's go ahead here and take a look. We're, we're currently on one of our server systems and I actually want to jump into uh, our start menu and because this is Windows Server 2012, it's a Metro interface. What I'm really looking for is just my admin tools for Active Directory users and computers. Could also use ADSI Edit to do this, but what I'm getting at is raw data of my uh, objects in Active Directory. So we can see our domain here, contoso.com. And under computers, I can see a number of different computers in here, including my SharePoint server and the backend database. These are a couple of computers that have accounts in the domain environment. Now, if I were to look at these and right click and look at their properties, let's go ahead and bring up properties here. The properties of a computer account have a delegation tab. And this is where we can specify are we going to trust this computer for delegation to other services, designated services. Now, the default is do not trust this computer for delegation. But we can say trust this computer for delegation to any service, which would really be less secure than trusting this computer for delegation to specified services only. And then the specified services are made up of a service type, a particular computer on there, a port number, and a service name. So if I were to click Add, then I can see the available services, select one or more computer names. So I can click here, and I would specify, uh, let's say, uh, DB1. And we'll go ahead and let me type the whole name. And we'll do check name. So I can see the computer name there. I'll click OK. And now it's showing me on that computer, these are all the services that are available. So let's say I wanted to take Microsoft SQL Service. We'll take this one. This would be the, um, the default one. And I'll go ahead and uh, select that service. And notice that it fills in a lot of the information in here. So the service type is MS SQL Service from this particular computer on port 1433. So what we're basically saying right now is we've set up in the Active Directory that as long as my SharePoint server, in this case NYC-SP1, is trying to delegate um, credentials down to this service on this computer, we will trust it and it's allowed. But if, the, if that uh, SP1 tries to delegate down to a different computer or even this computer on a different port and different service, it will not allow it. So I click OK and I've basically just set up a trust such that SP1 can delegate down to DB1. And that's how we create these service principle names that allow us to uh, get in there and trust computers for delegation. And Kerberos needs that. It needs the ability to trust for delegation in order to uh, perform certain operations. So if you choose to use Kerberos authentication, these are some of the steps you're going to have to take. Where you'll want to do that, where you're trusting, every one of your web front end servers is trusted by all of your back end database systems. But also, don't forget to include in there then the application servers. They need to be trusted as well. So that, in an example, a user connects to a web app. The web app is on SP1. But then the web app tries to hand off and delegate the user credential back to the application server in order to do something that is secured. And so we have to trust for delegation for that to work.
use NTLM authentication, you don't need to do any of this, but it's also uh, a less secure, ultimately less secure environment, even though it's easier to set up. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.